Hello and welcome. A few months ago I set up an ion chromatograph and proceeded with a few analysis mainly about water quality for anions and cations. Now switching between the two analysis requires new column and suppressor of course, but the mobile phase is different, so a thorough flush is needed, followed by an equilibrium time, which could take a while before yet another calibration and I've grown tired of this predicament. So with a few additional parts found on eBay, I set up a second channel. I can now switch between the two analysis simply by clicking on it. On the uh, cation I'm also using a gradient method where the concentration of the aluon changes during the analysis. The advantage of this is the ability to separate nearby peaks. If you remember I had trouble separating rubidium and magnesium and calcium and cesium. This is now easily done while cutting back on the analysis time and keeping it uh, roughly at about 20 minutes. Finally I purchased standard to verify the calibration and certify the accuracy of the value I'm reporting. In the uh, analytical chemistry world, this is called second source. You may be familiar with uh, LCS and CCVs. Anyway, I came across this uh, Himalayan salt claiming to purify the air, lift the mood, promote energy, and give natural elegance. I don't know what any of that means, but these look like uh, larger crystals of pink salt. And those are advertised to contain calcium, magnesium, potassium, copper, and iron. So I weighed a crystal and dissolved it in pure deionized water and ran it at a thousand dilution. Sodium is the very large peak over here, but zooming on this area reveal potassium, magnesium and calcium. This column is not rated for iron and copper. The anion side of life show chloride and trace amount of sulfate. Because of potassium I've checked its uh, natural radioactivity and verified it was not above background level. Next I used the XRF to make sure it did not have any uh, heavy metals and it looked like it might contain traces of cesium um, these two peaks over here are just the uh, lead from the shielding. So I'm not sure why anybody would believe uh, standing in a room where salt is being gently heated would uh, purify the air or improve your health in any way. But I've seen worse scams and uh, this uh, looks like to me to be a greed driven repurpose of a product. Personally I could think of a better way to use this. Speaking of conspiracy theories, check out my friends and co-workers podcast, We the Sheeple. Uh, these guys are smart and funny and uh, tell them uh, Neptunium sent you. Beyond this silliness, I've also analyzed uh, avocado and banana for potassium, cheese and milk for calcium, some fish, potatoes, snow, and my own piss. Because why not? Solids are weighed first and digested in the fixed volume of deionized water. Digestion happens during overnight tumbling when soluble ions are extracted by the water. The extract is then filtered and analyzed. So here's the cation makeup of avocado. Compare this with the notorious potassium rich banana, which has more magnesium. So if you're magnesium deficient. <clears throat> now, an ion presents a different challenge since the column is not designed to pick up organic salt like uh, oxalate, acetate, formate, etc. So some picks are not identified. But we can still assess chloride, phosphate, sulfate, and in the case of the banana, a bit of nitrate. I do like my cheese, but I am also lactose intolerant, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on some calcium intake. Milk processing and fermentation remove some of the calcium, and the IC confirms the concentration reduction. And apparently a lot of potassium is gone as well. Same problem with the unidentified anion peaks in milk, but a lot of phosphate. And uh, considering what a cow eats, it shouldn't really be a surprise. It naturally follows that cheese has phosphate too, with the surprise addition of fluoride and process-driven nitrate and nitrite. I was expecting a legume growing on the ground to reflect the dirt concentration of minerals, with a lot of sodium and a few heavy metals. But no, potatoes appear to be selective and much like many other flora, concentrate potassium and intriguingly barium as well. And ions are having a field day too. Chloride, nitrate, nitrite, phosphate, sulfates are all present and some organic salt I am not able to ID. Now snow is interesting because the flakes can trap some atmospheric pollution and living near a large industrial city like Detroit I was able to capture this especially with the anions. Chlorides are everywhere but notice the nitrates and sulfate mostly due to fossil fuel burning especially this time of year. Now I have uh, analyzed fish for mercury in a previous video, link in the description. But the cations and anions reveal a few surprises too. 
A lot of phosphate and the addition of the ammonium ion which is partially responsible for the typical fish smell. Continuing with present smell I wanted to keep track of my own urine content in various cation and anion, specifically the ammonium ion since it can be indicative of bladder or kidney dysfunction. Other cation concentration can also pinpoint a potential mineral deficiency. As the logic would imply if it's not in the urine it's probably not in the body. Ammonia is produced by the body from the breakdown of proteins to amino acid to urea and finally ammonia. So I kept track of my ammonia concentration over a few days. And to be accurate I increased my uh, protein intake with a steak. Yes, science can also be delicious. So before the steak my uh, ammonium output was about 69 ppm and uh, here it is after at about 140. I should point out that a value higher than about 500 would indicate a bladder infection or kidney problem. But please do not send me your urine sample, I am not a doctor and I cannot assess your medical condition. Outside of ammonia, my urine reflects a healthy concentration of magnesium, potassium, calcium, and uh, on the anion side, sulfate and phosphate are expected and are at a healthy level. The fluorides are likely to be due to reasonable intake of whiskey, which apparently contain some fluoride. So, this is probably not your first YouTube video, and you know what to do. Thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you want, Patreon, bell, share. I hope to see you again on the next one and thank you for watching.